Action News has learned Ambassador Bridge owner Matt Maroon met with Governor Snyder yesterday trying to convince him to change his mind about a new bridge across the Detroit River. The governor, of course, has endorsed a plan that would have Canada pay for a new bridge downriver, but Matt Maroon told me in an exclusive interview today they have a better offer. I don't blame the governor for the attractiveness of the $500 million that Canada has offered for free and all that. He doesn't blame the governor, but Matthew Maroon and his father, Matty, admit it was like a punch to the gut when Governor Snyder, during his State of the State address, endorsed a publicly built bridge called Drick. After all, their ambassador bridge is the very model of a successful Michigan business the governor hung his campaign on. We've got a Michigan business that's been here for 83 years and contributed economically to the city and the state, and we can offer the same $500 million with a twin span of the Ambassador Bridge that would entitle him to that federal match. What the Maroons are proposing and have actually already started building is a second span, a twin of the Ambassador Bridge. It would replace the Ambassador for a while, then supplement it after a total renovation years down the road when it's needed. All to be built with private money. He can't proceed. Bottom line, he cannot proceed to build a bridge that actually lands in Canada until such time as he secures the environmental approval processes that Drick got. And Canada's Consul General hints that environmental approval is not likely. This is polluting, it's noisy, it's unsafe, and clearly nobody in 1929, when the bridge was built, had any notion that that volume of traffic would be crossing. So the Canadian government, with Governor Snyder's endorsement, is planning on building a bridge two miles downriver. Trouble is, on the U.S. side, that bridge would sit squarely on property owned by the Maroon family. I'm going to assume you're not going to go quietly. No, I, I, I don't believe that government should put private sector employees out of business to make way for more government spending and, and government projects. Both sides seem ready to stand their ground, which could mean nothing happens for years while it's tied up in court. Well, it could, and, sh and it could be a court battle, but it shouldn't be. So doing nothing is a disaster? Well, doing nothing is highly risky, it's costly, and it could be disastrous. So the question is, which bridge do you like? Well, you can go to our Detroit 2020 website, and you'll find the people to contact to let them know. Do you like the Canadian bridge? Do you like the uh, Ambassador Twin? Go ahead. Certainly a lot of people talking about it. Mm -hmm.